Hi, I'm Brigadier General C.R. Davis, Deputy Program Executive Officer for the Joint Strike Fighter. With me is Mr. Dan Crowley, Executive Vice President and General Manager for the Joint Strike Fighter Program in Lockheed. And welcome to the first edition of this new F-35 video update. Every quarter will not only get the latest updates on the F-35 aircraft, but also the information on our partners, our contractors, and customers, both present and future. We'll also talk about the technologies that make JSF different and better, and the upcoming events and people who make the program a success. 2006 is a really big year for the program, for the Joint Strike Fighter as a whole. It's where the program really becomes a reality. We get to watch the first airplane fly. Later this year, we'll be signing the production, sustainment, follow-on development, memorandum of understanding, which cements the eight partners and their participation in the program. It's a chance to take the hard work you're doing and show that to the stakeholders, the ones you'll be delivering war fighting capability to. And that's our challenge within the program office, to take your hard work and communicate it to all those who support the program and really bring it into the future. JSF is truly an international program. and We're really excited about all the progress with our industrial partners and teammates as they begin to build their factories to support JSF production. And also our customers who will fly the aircraft. They're in Fort Worth now flying in the simulators and gaining excitement about what capabilities JSF will deliver in the future. But perhaps the best example of our progress together is AA-1, our first aircraft, which is in Run Station 7 in Fort Worth going through final preparations for flight later this year. Shortly in the video you'll see some examples of the successful testing that's already occurred to date. In the F-35 news update in the future, we look forward to presenting more information about the program and our success together and making the future a reality. In 1997, three companies formed a team to design and develop the most advanced multi-role fighter in history. Each company brings the best of their expertise and capabilities. Together with a global industrial participation, ensuring that the F-35 maintains the highest value and performance. Northrop Grumman brings decades of experience in development and integration of advanced aircraft programs, advanced manufacturing and systems capabilities, and naval aircraft operations. Northrop Grumman brings a strong lineage of uh, survivability and stealth. Advanced manufacturing and advanced capabilities, early from uh, metal airplanes to composite technology now. Strong lineage in avionics, navigation systems, and then uh, supportability of the airplane as we bring it to the field. At the end of the day, uh, it's what's best for the product. And I've seen that uh, in Team JSF that you keep your company interest to the side and you put the airplane's interest as a priority. And so Team JSF, uh, I think, embodies that earlier vision of, of uh, how we were going to work together. It's the first time that's ever been done in industry and uh, it's very effective uh, and it's working. Lockheed Martin Aeronautics combines its design, manufacturing and system integration expertise with the global team of suppliers putting it all together and delivering the product to the customer. Well, we put together the industrial team for JSF. It begins with the prime contractors, us as the major prime and our two partners, North of and BAE. We formed that team with some specific skill bases and capabilities in mind. The company is known for building the airplanes that define the envelope of aeronautics. We build the highest, the fastest, the stealthiest, the largest. In the case of F-35, we're going through another point in the envelope which is joint, multinational, uh, very advanced capabilities, capture the element of surprise with stealth, capture the element of near-perfect situational awareness with the sensor system we have on the airplane. So we've gone one more step on that journey of developing those airplanes that redefine what aeronautics are all about. BAE Systems contributes the latest in advanced development and lean manufacturing technology, key system development, and unequaled experience in vertical flight. Our philosophy is to be excellent in designing, developing, manufacturing, make the quality requirements of the customer, meet the customer's requirements, um, make sure you do that at an affordable price, and make sure you meet the schedule that you say you're going to meet. And that's really the overall philosophy of the program. The advantage of the team concept um, is, is bringing together the experiences, different experiences that the three companies have had in different areas of different markets, in different types of engineering, 
and different processes and ways of developing uh, the aircraft. We've come together, we've shared our best experiences and I think the solutions that we've got on the programme today have been made up of some of the best practice that you've seen across all three companies. In the long term, I think the benefits to the cost of the programme, so the affordability of the programme to the aircraft user, the warfighter, is going to be huge. The first F-35, AA-1, is in the build phase on the flight line in Fort Worth. During this time, the integrated power package bay has been completed and structural and harness work is taking place. This is the final phase in preparation for first flight. Early this year, AA-1 rolled out of the factory in Fort Worth, beginning the flight line portion of the assembly operations. In March, engineers and technicians concluded an extensive fuel system checkout on schedule. The fuel system proved to be virtually flawless, a first for a modern fighter aircraft. Structural coupling tests were successfully completed on April 17th, five days ahead of schedule. All test results were within the expected range. Ground vibration testing finished early on April 30th, continuing a string of testing milestones completed ahead of schedule. The vibration test characterized the aircraft's responses to inputs to the wings, tails, rudders, and flaps. This video and the latest news on the F-35 program can also be found at TeamJSF.com.